The last thing that, that I would like to talk about, and that's obstetrical assessment. In an obstetrical patient, there, there would be two key questions. Number one, when was your last normal menstrual period? So you can try to determine, is this patient pregnant or not? That's very important if someone's complaining of abdominal pain uh, because of, of ectopic pregnancy. The second one, though, really is more later in pregnancy because, because there are not many things at all in early pregnancy that are going to be an emergency. Uh, vaginal bleeding early in pregnancy is probably a spontaneous uh, abortion, or, or our slang term for it is a miscarriage, uh, and that is not a medical emergency. Some patients early will have something called round ligament syndrome, and that's when the uterus has a very, very early pregnancy, it's still quite small. Uh, when the, the uterus is at term, it's so big that it doesn't move. But right at about the middle of the second trimester, right at about four or five months, the uterus is about the size of a clapper in a bell. And so it can move freely, but it's big enough and has enough weight that when it flops to one side, it really jerks on the round ligament, which attaches the uterus to the abdominal wall. And that can be, can be painful. But once again, that would give you a totally normal abdominal exam. You would just have a history of pain in a pregnant person without any bleeding, with a normal blood pressure. That's probably round ligament syndrome. The serious things are going to be in your patient that is near term and they will have either pain or vaginal bleeding or both okay and the two conditions that should concern you that in assessing the term or near term obstetrical patient is are they having vaginal bleeding because that's very serious uh, that could be a placenta previa and that just means the placenta is partially or totally covering opening at the bottom of the uterus. Even without being in labor at all, there can be some subtle dilation near term, and that can cause painless vaginal bleeding. The good news is the patient will not bleed to death. That bleeding will stop spontaneously. The bad news is there may be a big puddle of blood and it may be very alarming. Uh, that still is an obstetrical emergency because that patient needs a prompt C-section. The other is a placental abruption, and that's where the placenta is in the normal position, but it separates from the wall of the uterus. This is the wall of the uterus, and the placenta separates, and there's bleeding underneath the placenta, and that generally is painful, and or you can see vaginal bleeding. Uh, that's also a very serious condition. A key question to ask is, when was the last time the baby moved? Because somebody at term or near term should feel that baby move every day. And if the patient says, well, you know, I haven't felt the baby move today, big red flag, big red flag, you've got a big emergency on your hand. So remember, near-term vaginal bleeding, near-term pain, lack of fetal movement, big, big emergency. Early in pregnancy, vaginal bleeding, not a big emergency. Mm -hmm.